Hey guys, welcome to my white box cartoonization tutorial. This tutorial covers how to do a single picture and how to do a footage. And today we'll need um, Anaconda, which um, you can learn how to install at this video from around 1 minute to 3 minutes 50. And yeah, so now we have to create an environment for our white box cartoonization. So copy this line where it goes conda create dash in wbc python equals 3.6. And in the meantime, you will want to find a file directory that you want to put um, this repo in uh, to make a local copy. So here I want to create a, actually, um, I can just copy this and you can manual clone it, download zip, and then pull the zip here and then zip it. Or you can use, um, you can copy the destination here, cd, go to this destination, and then you have to go to G drive since I'm on a different drive. So you have to type in G to specify your drive. Or you can do this, you go git clone, and then you copy this link, and then you can clone the, directory with this command which you don't have to clone it manually like downloading downloading the zip and then pasting it here um, after that we need to install different stuff uh, but first we have to activate the environment so you type in here conta activate wbc press enter you can see here it's activated now and then now you can see it's a clone here so there's white box organization you can see all the stuff are here now you can go in cd and then you paste this destination in and you will want to pip install all these requirements so the first one is just pip install tensorflow dash gpu equals 1.12.0 and the second one Oh yeah, you have to keep in mind this one is two. This one is one single equal, and these are two equal lines. So after this one is done, okay. Now once it's done, you input the second pip install requirements here, and the third one is the one for video which you'll see later why we need this. So we pip install FM and, uh, FFMP, uh, MPEG. So now we're in done, um, go to test code and then uh, test images. And then you can put any images here uh, if you want. Uh, let's just use the tense test samples right now for a single image. Uh, let's have these two, okay? And then what we need to do is um, we now input, uh, it says here, let's see, results will be um, run test code cartoonize.py. So you need to go into the test code um, directory, so cd copy and paste this path, and then, <clears throat> and then you type in here, python. Uh, cartoonize. I keep on forgetting what, I'm, uh, what I need to do. Here, Python cartoonize.py. There you go. And then you paste this here. Oh, um, if you encounter anything like this, um, you just have to do pip install. So pip install. Uh, oh, uh, CV2 is a bit different case, so you gotta do pip install open CV. Python, there you go, and then it'll collect all your open CV stuff, and now you can run it. And these errors are usually normal. Okay, um, seems like we miss out some requirements. Well, if you miss out any requirements, you're just gonna do do what it tells you to do basically, and you're gonna run it until it works. Oh, now you see the lo loading bar and now it's done. So that's how you do it for one single image and you can see that the results are actually really good. Um, yeah, the thing I like about really like about this white box cartoonization is that 
um, it gives less artifacts when it comes to small details, which a lot of old ones does. So look at these. Pretty amazing. So for videos, basically you have to break down all the frames, right? So you want to create, use these commands. These are the where you input your file name. So my file name is called drone, drone.mp4. So I gotta change all the dot dot ones to drone here. And, and now you wanna copy your drone to where you are at right now. So you're basically at test codes, right? So you wanna go to test code and then you paste your drone file here. Check if it's MP4. Um, if it's not MP4, you have to change these to like, oh, M4V or whatever file you're using. So now you copy this line of code and then it basically, wait, I nearly missed something. Um, you have to type in extra test images. There you go. Um, yeah, now you copy and paste this line and it'll break down all the frames into 30 frames per second right here. You can see 30 frames per, per second. So if you want more frames or if your video has more frames, you type in 60 and you remember you have to change this to 62 because that's when everything is transformed to cartoonized images. So you basically paste this in. And yeah, if you have any questions, come to my Discord and I'll respond you there. So. I'll link, link my Discord down in the description. And you can see now, um, all every single frame, well, not every single, but like 30 frames per second, and most of them are like transferred here. Okay, so now that's done. Um, you want to cartoonize all these images, right? So you have to go back to type python cart, cartoonize.py. And then, yeah, it'll take some time to load. And you'll see a bar here and then you'll see the estimated time here is 20 seconds 18 17 16 15 and you can see it fills up the cartoonized images page so now we have to we, we need to use um this command oh we need to change more stuff here my bad so basically um you have to copy the whole path here and you basically paste it in front of here and then you type another this is okay let's let's use this to, instead so it won't confuse you guys so here all right so you copy the whole destination copy and paste here and then you p basically paste it behind this because this is where your drone image is here are located so you're basically rendering gonna use all these Im images and then make it into a video which is 30 frames per second right since it's 30 30 frames per second here and you copy and paste this enter this and then it's basically rendering it oh it's done it's not really rendering it's like uh you, you get what i mean but okay so you can see that output.mp4 you can see the naming here and then now it should work yeah, now it's going to nice. So yeah, that's about it for white box cartoonization. If you have any problem, come to my Discord. And if you haven't seen my other main YouTube channel, go check it out. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.